Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Leo. How are you guys, Leo? Hope you're all having a really good week. Thanks for dropping in. So you can see I have the love card and the sun card here. So this is about choices and love or new love prospects and connections. Okay. So what does Leo need to know? Oop, that. Trust your intuition. Leo. Ooh, yeah. So maybe you have a choice between two. Trust your intuition here, okay? Just, I feel like you're the person you're seeking, you may already know, okay? You may have already met this person, but I do see there's this energy of a choice, okay? So I do see this energy of two people building each other up, going down this path. Oh my. Yeah, this is two people who are you know, willing to cooperate and compromise to build something. This is about compatibility. Lovely. Look at that. Yeah, you have someone doing a little soul searching. It's about their path in life. This is someone who's kind of holding back, keeping their feelings to themselves, keeping them secret. So you could have a secret admirer too. There's that beautiful star. Yeah, so I do feel this is someone who definitely is admiring you, okay? I do feel they're kind of soul searching, looking for kind of clues with answers within themselves. Oh my goodness. So someone too, you may have someone here who's moving away from someone and ready to go down another path, but I do feel they're keeping their feelings to themselves. You see, they're on their own path. They're kind of, this is someone who's going to do things their own way here. You know, see, there's that card of waiting. And then we have a little Sag energy. You know, this is someone who's Kind of pulling back here, looking at things from a different angle, seeing things differently. So it's an energy of someone who's ready for something different. They do have different ways of going about things, there's no doubt. They're on their own path. Yeah, this is a definitely some chemistry here. So someone who definitely admires you. I you can see that energy. They... Uh, they see you as, uh, you know, it's just that admiration, I feel. Oh, yeah, they see you in a very favorable light here. And I do think this is someone who is kind of ready for something different. You are different than the usual type, okay? So they may have a type. <laughs> Leo, yeah, I do see they could have some Sag in their chart. They don't have to be. I also see Gemini. I see that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. I see this person definitely highly intuitive, trusting their intuition, just keeping their feelings to themselves for now. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know why for sure. I can't really see, but it has. They definitely admire you. And I do feel there's this energy. You can see this in this card, the star. There's two people here uh, releasing their past, letting go. Okay. Letting go of old relationship baggage, things that no longer serve you. You. okay so i feel like that's what this person's going through i feel they want to know if you you know if you maybe have feelings for them too it's quite possible what this person's really kind of you know spending a little time doing some thinking soul searching it could be checking you out even on social media it may uh, take a little look at you when you least expect it <laughs> when you're looking away doing something else could be in your place of business Ooh. Yeah, we have an emperor here. So we have an emperor. This is someone who generally knows exactly what they want and they go for it. So I do see this energy of this person keeping uh, something to themselves, keeping a secret, you see? Oh yeah, very, very deep feelings. This person's doing a little shadow work, a little inner work to do with their feelings, emotions here. Well, this person may have, um, could be a little mirroring energy as well. Get that energy yeah. so there is some kind of truth and some kind of success this person's getting some kind of clarity here some kind of clarification and i feel this is maybe someone who uh, has a little bit of fear of something here this is someone who generally gets everything they want so they may be afraid you know you don't admire them as much as they admire you i do feel this is someone who maybe feels like you're a little out of their league yeah Oof, even though you have an emperor we have that Taurus energy. Yeah. So this is how this person conducts themselves, you know, their habits, traditions, uh, their beliefs. Okay, So they have their own way of doing things. But I do see this energy of two people um, definitely in that making that choice. This is that choice they're making, that aha moment, that truth Okay, to do with how they conduct themselves. They're having to face some truth about themselves. That's what I feel. They're keeping it to themselves, their feelings for now. 
So I don't know what this is. It could be a little fear of commitment. <laughs> Maybe a little fear of commitment. Or they're afraid that, you know, they're checking you out and they're afraid that you're already in some kind of a relationship. But it is an energy where this person feels like the situation's out of reach or you're out of their league. But I feel like it's some baggage they need to let go from a past relationship, you see? Yeah, this is an energy of two people being on the same page, the same path. Uh, two people who build each other up. This person's face, they have a fear of commitment. That's what this is all about. Or a fear that you are in a relationship and they're kind of, you know, just sort of keeping their feelings to themselves right now while they uh, figure this out. They could be scoping you out here. It could be your place of business. If you're a server and you work in the service industry, if you've served, you may have served to this person. They may look at you when you're not paying attention and kind of see that you're different, okay? Yeah, they see when it's in a favorable light, though. Tell me about this King of Cups. Oh, yeah, so there's definitely this communication, fast-moving energy. This person's, oh, my goodness, they're taking a little pause, doing a little introspection, looking at things from a different perspective about how to approach you. They're, this person is going to uh, head towards you here, and I do think they're going to communicate with you out of the blue, but I feel they have two ways they're going to communicate, so they're just looking at that. Yeah, seeing things from a different angle. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're checking you out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this hermit. Oh, yeah, see, they're looking. They're fantasizing, uh, looking at all the possibilities. They're about to make some kind of a decision or choice here. This is someone who may have a lot of options, or they're looking to see if you have any other options or if you're any kind of relationship. Yeah. I'm going to make a choice here. Oh, yeah, it's emotional fulfillment. This person's visualizing themselves, being with you, being happy with you. <laughs> yeah, it's just those thoughts, you know. They have their own way of kind of processing information. That's how this person is. So they do spend a little time alone fantasizing about this. They're about to make a choice, though, and it is to let go of all their other options. So it is someone who likely has a few people around them. Okay. Yeah, maybe I've dated a lot of people, but I do feel like they're taking a little pause there. Tell me about this three of wands. You've got this person's attention, yeah. So they are moving forward here. They're planning for success. They're going to communicate. No, they're going to, it's going to come in out of the blue. All of a sudden, they're going to either strike up a conversation, uh, which is what it looks like. They're going to just strike up a conversation. When you probably least expect it, it might throw you off a little bit. Uh, but I do feel this is someone who, you know, this is someone who wants to have success. They're planning for this to be successful, you see. So this person's waited for a while here for the right time to approach you. You may have people around you, see, getting a lot of attention, people adoring you, <laughs> a lot of fans. <laughs> uh, see that, you know, getting attention from other, other people. So tell me about this. Ooh, there we go. Oh, yeah. So this is definitely, they look at you secretly, keep their feelings to themselves. So there's definitely uh, secret ad admiration. So I do feel this is an energy where they want things to go in their favor. They're just going to trust their intuition. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely that energy. See, this is someone who acts like they're not interested when they are. You see, they take a look at you when you're not looking. <laughs> A little bit on the aloof side, but we all know those people who are aloof, you know, they just act like that. You know, they are definitely focused on money finances. I do feel this is someone who is, um, you know, keeping some things to themselves here. Uh, I feel this is someone, I do feel this person's a little bit private, but I feel as though they're coming in here. They're just going to trust their intuition and go for it. They're going to just say something really practical, you know, like, oh, what you doing? Or do you like working here? Or, you know, something like that. They're going to strike up that conversation. Just an everyday kind of, you know, so it doesn't look like they're interested. Yeah, they want things to go in their favor. Look at this energy. This person's financially stable, practical. They're making plans. And I do feel this person's planning for the future. I do feel they're someone who, they may be talking about work and the things that they do, plans that they're doing. Okay, I feel they may be trying to impress you a little bit here, but it's going to be very practical and grounded. Okay, they're going to come across as very stable. In fact, it could even be your boss for some of you. 
<laughs> this is how they conduct themselves, their behavior. Uh, I do think this is someone who, it is an energy about being on the same page. Like this is the thing they're trying to look, first and foremost, if it is just someone who comes into your workplace, and they want to know if you're married. I feel that's the first and foremost thing they want to know. And once they find out the truth uh, that you are not, okay, they're going to, Oh, they have. They, I'm going to tell you, they're waiting for the right a, a moment to approach. They're waiting for that opportunity. They're about to make that decision. But they are fantasizing, you see. Uh, making that choice to open up emotionally, to kind of put themselves out there is really what this is about. About putting themselves out there in a positive energy. Yeah. If you're not interested in this person, uh, I feel they'll just act like it's no big deal. And that's why they're going to communicate this way at first. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, I do see a little Taurus energy. Don't have to be. Really could be anyone. I do see Scorpio. Uh, I do see Aries. Uh, very strong Taurus energy. And I do see some strong Pisces. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely someone who, who works a lot. Probably married to their job. I feel they're ready to put something behind. They're completing something here. You see, ready to go down this path. It's about collaborating. Uh, I feel this is someone who's, they're definitely working very hard. They feel kind of beat up, maybe even at the end of the work week. So it could be somebody who kind of comes in. So this is giving you clues at what they may talk about as well, about work, something they're completing, something they're planning. Okay, so yeah, it could be something to do with a contract or a negotiation. <laughs> They're checking to see if you're on the same page. Yeah, see, that's an energy they kind of pull back, uh, looking at you. You're different. So uh, they may even, if this is someone who's approached you and you've kind of, you know, didn't really get what they were trying to say, it's possible they're going to try another approach. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I definitely see talk about work. Okay. This person's building something. They check you out. They, this person thinks you're perfect. They feel this is something uh, worth building. They want to build something. They want a partner. Okay. So I, I don't know if they're going to negotiate something or try to use a work situation to connect. Uh, but they're very secretive. Okay. They act like they're not interested, but they are. You see, this is that energy of uh, that difference. There's definitely chemistry. Uh, do you feel this person's checked you out from every angle when you least expect it? <laughs> this person's interesting. I don't feel like this is something that's gone on for a long time, like a couple of times, okay? Um, where they're just interested here and they're just really checking you out, but they are on their own path, that spiritual journey within themselves. See, they're shining a light on that, about their choices in love, their decisions, uh, you know, what makes them happy, things like that. That's what they're looking at. They do visualize, visualize themselves being happy with you. It's a bit of a fantasy for this person. <laughs> so cute, yeah. They are financially stable, though. This is an emperor, though. But you see, they have some kind of fears, you know, that they're keeping to themselves. And I do feel like that's that energy. And I'm going to tell you, you could be marrying each other a little here in this reading, okay, where you're both kind of checking each other out. You both could be acting a little loof like you're not interested, okay? You both could be fantasizing. It's in the heart of the reading. But a decision does need to be made. Okay, before somebody else comes in and scoops you up because they see, they're looking to see if you have other, uh, you know, people around you, any other prospects. They see it's a, it's a possibility, okay, but I do think they're trying to stay in that positive frame of mind. So, yeah, so they are a little careful what they wish for, but yeah, they're keeping their feelings to themselves. This person's kind of hoping uh, is that you'll kind of indulge them and make it easy. I got to be honest. That's what I feel, that you'll indulge them, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah. So, yeah, look at that beautiful energy. So they are definitely financially stable. There's some kind of reason to celebrate a positive energy, positive vibrational energy. This person is definitely in that wishful thinking. So this is the stuff they're, you know, they're kind of thinking to their self when they're alone. You know, that wishful thinking that you probably are married. It's very possible, you know, or at least live with someone, that kind of energy. But they still fantasize, yeah, about a happy home and life, about being married, about going down that path. 
Oh, yeah. They want to offer you something. I can tell you this person's ready for that fresh new start, that opportunity. Okay. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna offer you something here. Uh, they fantasize more about that than actually doing it. Okay. I can see it. So they're not quite ready. I feel like when they will. There's just some things that they need to know. There's things. There's a mystery. Like you may be a bit of a mystery to this person. Things they need to solve and find out first. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This is definitely that passionate, creative energy, the one. Oh, yeah. This person definitely um, is making uh, plans for the future. It has to do with the one, okay, that passionate new beginning. I do feel they're very creative. I do feel they maybe even a little bit artsy, uh, but they definitely are somebody who works very hard. And I do feel at the end of the week, this person's a little tired. I do feel that they, this is the, uh, maybe an issue this person's having, you know, uh, do I or don't I have the time and the energy for this? But that fear of commitment, I feel, that's something they're putting behind because they're ready for something different. They want something to work. They want something worth working on and they see you as worth it from what they can see here so yeah see that energy they're coming towards you where is my soulmate this is someone who's looking for a soulmate it's also someone who may be delegating some of their work to someone else that they can have faith in so they have more time for dating and courting and getting to know uh, you very nice energy so this is likely someone who has a lot of options or people around them but i feel like you're the one you're the person that they're the most interested in you're that person so quite lovely Wow, Leo. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, gaining the strength and the confidence. They're taming the beast and they're trying to take their time. Because I actually feel this person really does want to move a little faster. But I feel it's, you know, it's about that approach, you know, that moment where they take applause and look at things from a different perspective. Uh, communicating with you from a different perspective. Now, they are definitely someone ready for love, ready to offer that cup. Okay. Uh, to somebody here and I feel like that person is you yeah if they have a lot of options and people around them I feel it's it's you that this person really wants Leo so very interesting let's see what this love is all about here let's see what that brings up for this choice in love yeah so this is someone who maybe have choices and options see they have other possibilities but they only want you you're the person they want they find you very attractive very sexy oh yeah they've checked you out when you least expect it <laughs> oh yeah this person's funny yeah they're staying very strong and brave they're trying to take their time and kind of go a little bit slow here do you feel they want to date you? I do feel they've already, they're have already they already making plans of places where they're going to take you. Uh, this person sees you. Their friends and family would probably love you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very positive uh, energy. I do feel like this is, you're going to meet this person in this public place. It could be a place where you go that's a habit, where you go, where you hang out with friends or family, where you socialize. Okay, they could be in that energy. It doesn't have to be your your place of work or business, but it could be. Or you're, you could be going into theirs. <laughs> There's that three of pentacles, yeah. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, that path. Two people building each other up. I do feel this person does have other options, but they only want you. They're going to offer you this pentacle. Oh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna invite you somewhere. It could be some event, could be something, um, could be a work event or even a spiritual event because i do think this person has for some of them they are quite spiritual they probably keep that energy to themselves and don't really tell a lot of people okay so if they overheard you talking about something like that this is likely how they're going to approach you and, and offer you it's a date okay to go out somewhere uh, they but like i say they see their friends and family loving you getting along very well so this is quite nice yeah, they're ready to go down this path here. They see you as compatible. And I do feel after two or three dates, uh, you're going to get a solid offer. They're going to want to keep seeing you and building upon this and collaborating. They do want to build something with you. They want to create something, you know. It's a happy home, happy life, um, you know, a beautiful home, whatever this is with this person. They're fantasizing about all the possibilities you know, with the house and home, you know, the solid foundation. This is a lot of happiness. 
Wow, that they are cautious. Yeah, they're very cautious. But that's what they're hoping and wishing here is that you accept this cup. Okay. <laughs> this offer. But right now it's just a, a fantasy. Yeah, they know. I do feel like they try to kind of tame that energy, you know, and kind of slow down a little. And But I do feel they are um, planning. The more they kind of, it's an energy where they're, I feel it feels like they're kind of fighting themselves a little. Try to be brave and strong and go slow. But I actually feel this person really does want to get moving here. So I'm going to grab some charms and see where this heads. I think after a few dates, you're going to see you're quite compatible, that you get along. And I do think you're going to uh, build upon this pinnacle, okay, uh, and build this foundation. And this, is, this person knows, too, uh, that you have to start with a solid foundation in a relationship. So they really do get it. Oh, that's way too many charms. So we have that wisdom. There's the owl. It always comes out. That's your inner wisdom, seeing things very clearly. So, yeah, this person's wise, I feel. I see that communication. There's that airplane. See, this person really does want to move a little bit faster. Okay, but they are taming the beast. They're trying to go slow and take their time. And then I see that butterfly, that trans transformation. This person's ready for change. They're ready for something different. They've likely dated a lot of people. And, you know, there's, they're really ready for just one person in their life. Yeah, we have the sunglasses. This person may wear glasses. I see the starfish, so they may be quite well known. The glasses and the starfish, they may be very well known, even very popular, or they see you that way. Vice versa. Yeah, this is quite interesting. Um, wow, Leo, I do see some kind of clarity here. This person's gaining some clarity and insight into what makes them happy too. And also uh, something that's going to make you happy, you see. This is the stuff they're looking at. I like this person's energy. There's that strength. Okay, this person, there's a lot of abundance here. This person wants this to be successful. Uh, I do feel there's going to be a first date. Look at that, a couple of lovebirds. It's a little tiny charm with two people sitting on a little swing with two little hearts. Uh, I see the high heel. <laughs> it's that high regard, yeah. Very sexy energy as well. They definitely find you that way. I see that cactus. I see a key. And I also see a child, okay? There's a little child here. So it could be this person has children or wants to have children. Or maybe they're curious about you. They want to know if you do. Because there's things that are a mystery that they don't know. And they want that truth before they come towards you. Okay, they, this is how it's going to start. <laughs> Somebody who's going out, maybe going out socializing, looking for a soulmate, hoping to connect with someone, getting to know people. Could be they're just going out, you know, at the end of the week and just want to have some social time. And then along, along comes Leo. Beautiful. This is all this person's energy. But see, they see you as very strong, brave, very confident, though, you see. You know, they, and I do. they do see that energy. They see you getting a lot of attention, adoration, that you may be quite popular, may be very well known. Um, it could be them, too. They may be, you know, maybe incognito. They might be quite well known, even famous with the star underneath there. Oh, this is interesting. With the star and the sunglasses, that is cool. So there's that king energy, the crown. And there's that beautiful um, dragonfly, my favorite. Very good omen here. So this person has a good energy. I do feel they're financially sound, okay? Someone who likes to prepare for the future. So they're preparing something. And I feel it's how they're going to approach and communicate because they want this to be successful. I do feel this is someone who they'll likely, I think they're just going to talk about work the first time. Okay, talk about work, the things they're doing, just so, you know, making small talk is what I feel. So nice, yeah. It's an energy of the fish here, just kind of going with the flow here. And they're going to be fishing for a little info to see if you're, you know, the things that they want to know about you. So they're going to say something, and what they're really doing is fishing for information. <laughs> they could ask some people around you, too. Could be someone who's checking you out even on social media. Lovely energy. So let's grab some letters. Yeah. 
you might not even realize you could be busy focused on other things when this person's checking you out or they wait till you are <laughs> oh yeah they've checked you out there's no doubt okay so here we go uh, w d v f r k have a couple more an i and a j so could could form a word first and last initials where you're going to meet maybe people involved um, it may ring a bell too if this person does strike up a conversation at one point they may talk about work or something you may just walk away it's possible you just walk away from them you know not because of any reason if you're at work yeah you're just going to walk away <laughs> You might not be all that interested in what they have to say, so they're definitely going to try a different approach. I'm going to pull out two more letters. Uh, I see a B and another D. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you can form a word. Take care, you guys. I wish you the best. I do see this being a little bit back and forth with a rocking horse, a little back and forth. Something about a child here, too. Or it could be just an energy of being more playful. Okay, this could be someone who's just trying to uh, be playful. Maybe you're, uh, they think you're too young or they're younger than you, whatever the situation. But I do see a little hint of children here. And I see a tiny little heart with a key. Uh, this person may really like children uh, or hopes to have children. Lovely. Take care, you guys. I wish you the very best and we'll see you soon.